What would you do if I told you the dog you see right now on your screen is a human being? I mean a human man that wanted to be a dog all his life. Spent a whooping sum of 20,000 US dollars to purchase this hyper-realistic dog costume. In fact, it was made especially for him. This is his first outing as a dog, in quote. He's out on the street saying hello to other puppies, greeting other dogs, rolling over he has a handler somehow in his mind after god made him he felt like being a dog was something better next i have a 52 year old man based in toronto and he got to a point he left his wife and children and decided to be a six year old girl and he lives with his adoptive parents and their children and grandchildren he dresses as a six-year-old child he eats as a six-year-old child he does everything as a six-year-old child he plays he has toys he has everything and he even changed his name to stephanie let's take it back to where it all started from in the very beginning we only saw cross dressers or not necessarily cross dressers just people role playing a girl could say oh she wants to dress like a guy today or a guy will say he wants to dress like a girl the devil saw this gateway and decided to come in through it now you can see kids of five years old six or seven years old telling you i don't want to be a boy anymore i want to be a girl teenagers are saying i want to be a girl instead of being a boy i'm in the wrong skin i feel traumatized a lot of mental illnesses will spring up from there they'll start feeling withdrawn even some go as far as want to take their lives because they feel they were created wrongly we have drugs now where girls can take pills hormone shots and stuff and they will become guys their beards will literally come out and guys can decide to take hormone pills after a while they grow breasts some people could even say they feel like they weren't made to be human beings. They want to be trees. There are people identifying as trees. There are people identifying as lizards. This just means that there is a crisis going on, an identity crisis. And if you follow through with this, you will know that the devil has always been in the business of stealing identities. You know, God defines us as a peculiar people, a holy nation, people that he has called out of darkness into his marvelous light. The devil does not want you to always remember that. He wants to steal your identity and perverse your thinking. Even Jesus Christ was tempted of the devil. And the devil came there and tempted him using his identity. If the devil can break through the thinking that you have in your head of who God says you are, then he has gotten access to you. You were thoughtfully and intentionally made. Nothing about you is a mistake you know god said let us make man in our image and likeness he had your thoughts in mind he knew exactly what he wanted you to be before you were born so never wake up thinking you are a mistake you are a masterpiece made by god for a specific purpose feel the potential and talents everything you need to succeed Everything you need for life and ministry, for godliness, is inside you. You are complete. You are a total human being. Always remember what God says you are and live that reality. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Laurel and I'll see you in my next video.